I call her Pinky Hibiscus. Yay, Pinky Hibiscus. And I have three beautiful blooms. Come with me as we take a tour around the garden exploring what is in for August. Hello and welcome to Catherine's Garden. It's so good to be here with you today on this uh, last Sunday in the month of August. This is August 25th. And so I just want to take you around to see what's happening in the garden for this day, for this month. And we're going to be heading into a new month, September coming up. And things are starting to change. I'm all Really starting to feel the cold air of fall just hitting us today. It's been just 68 degrees, 70 degrees here in the New England area, but um, we're just thankful. We're thankful because even though fall is on the way, we still have some summer blooms that need to um, appear, and one of them is my pink hibiscus. Yeah, I call her Pinky, Miss Pinky hibiscus and she's so beautiful so I'm going to take you to see her and some other things my um, watermelons are doing pretty well and um, the peppers are just awesome my hot peppers especially my jalapeno peppers and the ghost peppers are in so it's it's really doing well the garden is fruitful and I'm happy I just wanted to give you a quick update on these lettuce leaves if you can see they're actually growing taller isn't that wonderful and then let me see if I can really narrow in here you can see sprouting those beet seeds they're coming up in my bowl and I'm so happy about that I also want to give you an update on the cucumber seeds look at this yeah the cucumber seeds are sprouting so that means that there's the possibility of getting cucumbers for the fall yeah they want to grow and then also I want to show you my beautiful Eden climber has given me some roses here and even over here yeah I have a few blooms coming in and this is the last of it but at least it is giving me some joy and then this is what I really want you to see and that is my hibiscus I call it pinky hibiscus yes She has opened up and I'm going to go closer so that you can get to see what she looks like. But this is the garden this morning. It's a beautiful day. It's kind of cool. It's almost like I think 65 degrees or so. And this is what the garden looks like. And let's um, go around to the other side. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't the light beautiful? Yeah, it is so nice. And it's August, and usually we're used to heat. But this time, we um, have this cool day. It's kind of strange, but it's still wonderful. This is what the garden looks like. It's a little beat down because it's dry. We haven't been getting a lot of rain. We've had to uh, water the, the garden. But there's dew on the ground. And uh, that's why it's everything is uh, standing up and plush looking really great. Now this rose bush is just about finished too. And um, 
there's just a few blooms left on it but you see it, those rose hips it's going to create rose hips um, from the, the flower and uh, that will be there for the birds to eat during the winter time so here I am on ground level and um, they're doing really well here the dahlias are opening and continuing to bloom as well as the um, here we have the impatience the sun impatience which are doing very well and things are things are, are happening I've noticed too that these uh, Jamaican hot peppers that they're creating beautiful blooms and I think they're starting to flower so we might end up getting hot peppers soon hmm. all right let's go on over here to this part of the garden well um, this is the last of the pinky curly pink curly pink rose that's the last of the curly pink rose my carrots are coming in you can see that see that down in there yeah but this is what I want to show you now isn't that beautiful that bloom I call her pinky hibiscus yay pinky hibiscus and I have three beautiful blooms they're really big let me put my hand here so that you can see the size of it yeah and then there are a lot of buds and soon it will be filled out but I'm always amazed at the first one that opens up it just makes me very very happy And down here I have my thyme, which is doing very well. And I have the oregano. And I planted here my fig tree. I transferred it here, back here. But you can see everything is a little worn. But this is where the joy is. Oops. <laughs> That's where the joy is. Oops. Yeah. And uh, doesn't it look really nice with the pink? Doesn't the pink really, it looks nice with the uh, purple perilla? Yeah, so when that whole bush falls out, it's just going to be glorious. Now I'm going to give you an update on my... Uh, hot peppers and also on my watermelon yeah. it still feels firm looking good Oop, a bee and then look at these this is these are ghost peppers and they're starting to turn color um, that vine weed is just ridiculous um, but look at this now I don't really necessarily know what to do with those hot peppers but it was an experiment um, 
Peaches from Living for Life. I think that's her her her, um, her channel name. She um, she talked about the the powerful um, antioxidant and health benefits from peppers, and so I decided to draw to plant some of these hot peppers. And I'm going to do a pepper harvest soon. Look at them. I have jalapeno. I have um, the ghost peppers and some other peppers. But anyway, they're really ripe. Look at this red pepper here. And then here's my watermelon just hanging on there. And look at this little one. Now these, this type of watermelon um, is from the same seeds that I got from um, the Dollar Tree but these this one doesn't seem to uh, last or be as strong and healthy as the dark these are sugar baby sugar baby watermelon but look at all these peppers I'm going to have to do a pepper haul of all my peppers here's another watermelon and here's another one and I think there's one more baby here let's see if we can find her oh yeah here she is yeah so um, that's what I'm looking forward to these beautiful watermelons hopefully it will stay warm enough so that they can mature and we can enjoy but I'm definitely going to do a pepper haul. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Today is August 25th, and I'm giving you a quick tour of the garden. This is the vegetable patch, and this is what it looks like right now. So let's start from here. and look out on the garden. I have a couple of pumpkins and squash that are coming in and um, this area really filled out. Um, I'm sorry that it has white powdery mildew on the squash plants but I'm not highly concerned. I believe that you know I'm gonna let it just just let them take their course I'm glad to see the marigolds that I transplanted from the front to see them here. They're opening up, which is good. And then I have some marigolds here. My basil continues to grow and also the oregano they're doing good and the kale but I have a better batch of kale in the front I just wanted to show you my bush beans yeah I think I'm gonna have some before the season is out so that's good to know and then I have turnips here that are popping out and I'm going to use that to put in soups isn't this a beautiful beautiful marigold I think I'm going to save these seeds so that I can um, have them for next year and then these are the beets that I planted here they're kind of struggling but I'm going to leave them there I may replant some more in this corner. Maybe it's the location. I don't know, but I'm going to try it again. But isn't this beautiful?
Okay, so let's come on out of here. I just love squash plants, how they just trail all over the place. I didn't plant as many as I did last year um, because I thought I had too many, but now I wish I did. I also want to show you what's happening here. I have my tomatoes that I need to pick. And these, uh, this fig tree is doing really well here. I mean, it always comes back. It's just that because I think of this location that um, it's not protected. But this is what I want you to see. Look at that pumpkin growing there. Isn't that amazing? My squash and uh, pumpkin patch is suffering a little bit from um, white spot, but they're still growing. So I'm happy for that. And I think I have another squash plant growing here. See that? Yeah. And then I found a third one over here. Nice. So I'm sure there are probably others in amongst all of those leaves, but I really haven't seen them as of yet. But they're really trailing, and it looks like we are going to have um, squash in the garden. And then I have this plant here. Um, I don't know what it is, but I remember planting it from um, the garden. Remember, I went to, I remember planting it here, and I thought I had lost it. I got it from the lady at the allotment, um, the community garden. She had given me the big yellow one and she also gave me a piece of this. I saw this and I asked her for this one. And I thought I lost it, but it actually came back. So it will be good to watch it to see how it looks when all of the flowers open up. There are a lot of buds. So there are a lot of firsts happening right now. Isn't this beautiful? So now this corner is not doing too bad. I love the marigolds. They're still holding up nicely. And I must say, these two apple trees that I purchased last year, they look healthy and good. The leaves look good. I want to espalier these apples uh, trees. This is a, um, a tangy green urban apple, urban apple tangy green that I purchased last year. And um, it was on sale <laughs> from... Um, I think that was Lowe's, is that Lowe's? But anyway, um, it's looking very good. And this one's looking healthy too. Check out the leaves. I have this bindweed that is all over the place and I've refused to pull it out because it just continues to spread. But at least it's given me these white flowers. Um, and it'll drop seed. But um, for the moment, I have it. It's almost like a morning glory. And it just spreads. So just let it have its way for now. And my cabbages are here. Um, I'm going to have to figure out what to do with cabbage. Because I love how they look, but they are not doing too well. And look at Mr. Rabbit. He's here. Now look at my plums, they're getting more, more purple. Look at this, my plums. 
they are turning real purple and soon we are going to eat them yes I am looking forward to this blessing look at that really purple and it's the Stanley dwarf prune well I just love this particular plant the begonias are just doing very well and I definitely will plant more begonias next year now look at this this gladiola decided to open up and it looks very pretty now I planted more than one bulb I don't know I seem to have haven't really understood how to plant them and deal with glads but anyway this is my Cleome and this is a um, a wildflower that comes in I think it's an aster it comes in at this time too and the asters start to open up and I really like the asters because if you look inside you can see that it has that maroon color which actually matches the garden and it goes with all of the other coloring in the garden look I'm getting one more display of my licorice rose bush here I haven't been a good um, I haven't really taken great care of it but it still desires to flourish yes and I think um, next year it will catch itself and return okay so let's go down here and see what's happening here um, this has been blooming its head off look at that and just so beautiful so I'm definitely going to save these uh, tubers for next year um, and just replant them again this one came out so good the two of them actually the third one didn't make it but that's okay and my pears are doing really well look at how big it's coming out look this is my Asian pear tree and the pears are starting to ripen which is great I'm so excited about that the coleus are doing well and my yellow flowers I don't know what they are, these are called but they really had an impact in the garden this year which is good now see this this is the um, as I said the asters with the coleus and they look really great together this it's a nice bouquet yeah I like that I allowed this to become a, a little weedy but I do like the purple perella with the fern and this fern has been looking very healthy this year it has been kind of dry out here and it hasn't been raining as much so that the front garden looks a little beat up I think yet it's still beautiful you know that it is <laughs> um, the zebra grass has just been flourishing right now and you can see that here and the squash just having a time now the new plant that's coming in is the sedum and you know this is um, another plant that I had planted last year um, chrysanthemums yeah that's the chrysanthemum that I planted last year it rebloomed so um, 
or it's coming back so that's a really good thing it's going to add some color here to this side of the garden but look at how the squash have been just roaming and fruiting look at that beautiful squash there and I have a squash plant here and look at this lo and behold the okra plant is growing a little late hopefully it will you know continue to catch up and so at least that I can get a flower and hopefully a few okra before it gets too cold I love the squash flower pretty 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 and my zinnias I planted these zinnias from seed breezy today. The zinnias are doing very nice. Look at this zinnia, absolutely pretty. This front garden has just been um, exuberant and full of color and life and movement with the squash just trailing. Look at the size of the leaves of the pumpkin and squash. Just amazing. tomatoes are starting to ripen in this new bed that I created and I'm also gaining some um, beautiful fruit look at that so this was a good experiment here the peppers continue to grow and I have peppers all along this front piece here Next time I'm going to make sure that I, um, I trellis them. My kale continues to grow and I have been using it for smoothies. You can check out my video on that. It was so good. It was so funny. But um, yeah, I've been enjoying the kales. And then you know the nasturtium flowers? I've decided to eat some of these nasturtium flowers um, because they said they're full of vitamins and they taste good first you have this sweet taste um, and then it's like a almost like peppery taste afterwards so I've been enjoying just munching on a couple of them and look how big it has grown here in the front I think it's about two or three plants and uh, it's just taken over this spot I didn't have the heart to remove it earlier um, because it was just so happy and I love the flowers it's just flowering so well so <laughs> yeah so I just left them and um, look at what it's produced very pretty so this is what the garden looks like for August 25th and the end of this the month is here and it's 
just about done. Well, if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. How is your garden growing? I hope all is well with you, and I hope that your garden is doing well, too. So, see you next time in Catherine's Garden. Bye!